Hey guys, welcome back. So Kirby, question for you. If you were beginning all over again and you were starting a business or something, what shift at a W-2 job would you rather have so that you could focus on building that business? What time frame? Would it be nine to five? Would it be night shift? Would it be, what shift would it be? Uh, Well, let's, let me take a step back. Uh, and the only thing, I, only reason why I'm saying take a step back is instead of saying business, I'm going to just say just starting out in general, just starting out trying to build capital to even leverage to get to, you know, real estate, to leverage to get to the stock market, to leverage to get to uh, buying a business. For me, and understand, I worked every shift there was. I mean, when I was doing loss prevention at Burlington Co. Factory, I had the morning shift. When I worked in the factory at Toyota, we had, it was 10 hour shifts, but it rotated every two weeks. So you either came in six to six, it's usually 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and or it's 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. You know, so two weeks it'll be the morning shift because it was only two shifts. So I've done that. Uh, and then when I worked for the government, uh, I was damn near 24 hours a day, but you know, missions and everything, whatever uh, was called of me, I worked 24 hours a day. For me, I would prefer, I would prefer starting out because of course, when you first start investing, you first start trying to change your mind shift, I would find a thing that would make me less susceptible to spending money. So less susceptible to spending money. Most people spend money between the time they get off work at five o'clock and midnight. That's when they spend most of their money. If it's going out, going parties, clubs, hanging out with friends, you know, and different things, what have you. So me personally, I would pick the swing shift, you know, that three to midnight type deal, or I will pick that graveyard. So during the day when everybody's out there, you know, spending like crazy i would pick that shift so i'll be asleep when i get off work and the, like i said the reasons behind that it's it's all about building habits and things of that nature but sometimes you got to force yourself to build habits i mean especially when you come in off somebody like me that was just so used to just spin 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 you just got to force yourself to put yourself in uncomfortable situations so that's one aspect of it the other aspect of it is i remember when i started investing as soon as I put, you know, $50, $100 or whatever into investments, only thing I want to do is just stare at the market. You can't do that working uh, that morning shift when the market's on. You got to keep staring at the, you know, what's going on. So it gives me, it gives me that balance also, of, you know, I can use my paycheck. I can get off work. The market's just opening, you know, sitting there and forget it. If I'm doing index funds, put it in there, watch it for a little bit. Then I'll be so tired before I go back to work. And it just, it's just a build habit type format, but it'll be one of those two. I would not want to be on a day shift. I mean, of course, most people can't control what shift they work, but if I was just picking a shift, I wouldn't want to be on that day shift, that, that nine to five grind. And then next thing you know, I don't have nothing but uh, opportunity because that's when everybody else get off work. And then, you know, all your friends call in. I want to be on the shift opposite of what my friends and family is on. So every time they call me, oh no, I got to work. And then whenever I'm off work, they at work. So Oh, I just go home and go to sleep and spend less money. But that's the shift I would prefer starting out. Yeah, the two shifts that I've worked are working from like 6.30 p.m. to 6 a.m. Um, and then I, I worked that for a few months. And then the most recent shift that I pretty much worked was like 2.30 to 11 um or like a two to ten and then now right now i'm currently working like one to nine so and this is in the afternoon so like 1 p.m to 9 p.m um i prefer to work that kind of shift because especially what you said like the stock market in the morning i can do whatever i need to do on the stock market um and i can pay attention whereas if i'm at work if it's like a nine to five Literally, that's like the whole market, 930 to four. So like you miss the whole market while you're at work. So I would definitely not want to work that. Um, so I do like the shift I work uh, because I can pay attention in the morning and then pretty much by like, you know how it is by noon, the market's already 
do, done what it's done. So um, the other thing I've noticed too, kind of is like when you're in the middle of like a real estate deal, a lot of the calls happen in the morning, like with insurance uh, companies, with realtors, with the mortgage lenders. A lot of those calls are in the morning starting at like 8 a.m. So that's really convenient too, to be able to take those calls when necessary. Um, sometimes you get the emails and stuff at like 5, 7 p.m., but that's just emails. A lot of the calls are in the morning. And then if I'm, you know, selling anything, if I need to ship out a package or whatever, I can do that in the morning. I can, I don't have to worry about getting off work and rushing to the post office or whatever. I can just do that before work. Um, so I feel like a lot of things can be handled in the morning, especially if you have any kind of appointments or whatever. And so I would definitely prefer to just stick with the shift like I've got now. Right. And you said it and you hit the nail right on the head. Um, it's everybody else in the business world and the stock market world. The stock market is 930 to 430 on the East Coast time. I mean, the 4 p.m. on the East Coast time. So right. it's business hours. Uh, whenever you you know create a business, you need permits, you need all that other stuff. It's during business hours. Your business will run mo for the most part during business hours. So if you're working that swing shift or that graveyard shift, it still gives you time to handle what you need to do in the stock market, real estate. Of course, they do business hours. You know, for the insurance agents, for the brokers, for the real estate agents, and things like that. So it gives you time to handle that stuff but if you're trying to if you're working at nine to five and then you're trying to do everything uh on your job you're either gonna do one you're gonna piss off the your people at work because you're always staring at your phone or always on a phone call or trying to do something or always asking for time off or you can just handle it all in a full circle like i said when i first when i first started off it was uh i was working that's when i first started off was when i was working uh the Toyota, the Toyota job working on swing shift. I loved when we was working the 6 p.m. to 6, I mean, the 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Because I could get up, you know, I can figure out what's going on in the stock market or look to see what's going on in the stock market. Cause I really didn't have no clue when I first started off. And just, I could stare at it a little bit, then I could sleep, wake up, and then go back to work. And then, but again, the other aspect of it was it allowed me to be busy enough or be at work. So I'm not out spending the money so I can use more money to invest. So it's all about, for me, it's all about tricking your brain or building habits to save you from yourself. And then on the flip side of that, working those two shifts instead of working a day shift will, like you said, it'll help you because most things that you need to be proficient in the stock market, be proficient, well, mostly in real estate and in business is open during business hours, during banker's hours. So that's the time you need to be free to be able to be flexible to deal with you know the, all the problems that arise arise during that time so i agree with you there on those two shifts the nine to five grind in the morning shift is one that's very hard to deal with especially when you're starting out and it just brings a higher level of stress because now you got to jump through different type of hurdles and still keep your day job yeah yeah exactly so that means said guys let us know down below what you prefer to work as a shift uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.